In today's video, I'm going to show you from start to finish how I bathe my twin boys in under 30 minutes. I will take you from setup to breakdown, as well as show you all of the products that have made my life so much better. A little background before we get started. I'm Jenny. I am a new mom to identical twin boys. This is one of them. This is Harry. The other one is Max, and he's in the bedroom trying to sleep. Up until a couple years ago, I did not want kids, and then I changed my mind, and I was blessed with spontaneous identical twins. <laughs> uh. That being said, I had literally no experience bathing infants, so I went on a little adventure. I tried out a bunch of different ways of bathing the boys. First, I tried getting into the bathtub with them, and then I tried putting a tub in a tub and on my knees on the side, you know, washing them that way, and that killed my back. And then I tried this little seat inside the tub while I was in the tub, and that didn't really work either. The final thing that I tried that I figured out worked very well was putting my little whale tub into my kitchen sink. And lo and behold, I figured it out. And over the past five and a half months with these boys, I feel like I've become kind of like a bath expert. A little bit under 26 minutes, 25 minutes and some change. Any mom of multiples will tell you that time is at a premium. So getting bath time done in under 30 minutes, and sometimes I can even get it done in under 25 minutes, that is awesome. Let's start the clock and we will begin with setup. Prepping everything now will enable you to move from station to station with ease. I start by setting up the bath area. Here is what I use, and also all of these products will be linked in the description below. I have the whale bath a whale water scoop, the rubber ducky thermometer, a cradle cap sponge, baby washcloths, soft and absorbent baby towels with hoods, baby soap, and something to prop up the wash tub in my sink, which in this case is another bath seat because I had it laying around. I put the other bath seat into the sink and then I put my whale tub on top of it. Now, my sink is huge. If you have a smaller sink or a divider in between the two areas of your sink, that's fine. Just figure out a way to get the tub balanced, or you could even put this on a kitchen counter, or you could put it on a table. The key is, is to get it counter height so that you are not killing your mug. I make sure the whale tub is stable, and then I start the water. I put the duck in to monitor the temperature. While the tub is filling, I will set up the soap, sponge, washcloths, water scoop, and my towels. As far as water temperature goes, this is very important. I like it to be around 103 to 103.5. Uh, that way, it will cool down to under 102 degrees by the time I am ready to bathe the first boy. Safe temperatures are between 99 degrees and 101.9 degrees Fahrenheit. I love the rubber ducky thermometer. It makes this part really simple. It will blink red and it will beep if the water is too hot. But like I said, I like to have the water a little bit warmer around that 103 to 103.5 mark because it will cool off by the time I'm ready to bathe the first kid. Next, I head to the bedroom. I lay out a sleeper for each boy, unzipped and ready to go. Then I set out the lotion and I will talk about what brand it is in a minute. And then I set up my Hatch Baby phone app so that I can weigh each boy. The Hatch Baby Grow is a changing pad that has a scale built into it, a highly accurate scale. So on bath night, I always weigh the boys just to make sure they're growing and I really like to see how much they weigh. With that, everything is set up. I can normally get set up done in under 10 minutes. Next, I grab a kid. I like to take the fussiest one first, of course. I strip him down naked and then I zero out the changing pad scale and put him on it and get his weight. Then I take the baby to the kitchen. I place him into the tub, wet him with a few scoops of water, which by this point has cooled to under 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I get my soap. My boy Max has very sensitive skin, so I've been using Baby Dove Dermacare Soothing Wash. It is approved by the Eczema Foundation, scent-free, and it seems to be working great. For Harry, I used the Honest Company Shampoo and Body Wash, truly calming, and it is lavender scented, and he seems to enjoy that one. I wash his hair first, and then I leave the shampoo in the hair while I wash the rest of his body. After I rinse off his body, I come back to his hair, which I will then use the cradle cap sponge on. I rinse his hair, and finally, I take the washcloth and I wipe his eyes, nose, mouth, and finish with his ears. And that's it. 
It's not rocket science and it should only take a couple of minutes to wash each kid. Next, I grab the boy and I make sure I have a good grip and then I lay him on the towel I've already laid out, wrap him up and take him back to the bedroom. Once there, I pat dry his skin, put a diaper on him and then lotion him up. For both boys, I am using Aveeno Eczema Therapy Lotion. I love this stuff. I've tried about five other lotions and this was the one that really helped heal their skin. Their skin is so soft now and it really helps with the dryness and the scaling. After lotion, I transfer the boy over to his crib where his sleeper is laid out and get him dressed. And that's one kid down. Now it's time for the next kid, but before I bathe the next kid, I have to do a couple of things. I hang up the first kid's towel to dry. I switch my Hatch Baby app over to the next kid. And then I go to the kitchen and I add some water to the bathtub to get it back up to temperature. After I do all of that, I repeat the process with the second kid. Weigh, wash, dry, lotion, and dress. After both boys are done, it's time to clean up. I hang up the second towel, put away the lotion, and then head to the kitchen. There, I dump the water, dry the tubs, and then I pack everything up. Then I put the tub and all of the accessories back into their home and voila, that time is complete. Once you practice this a few times, I'm fully confident that you're gonna become a bath time wizard. There was one day this week, I did this entire process in under 23 minutes. Like I said, every product we talked about here is linked in the description below. And if you purchase through one of those links, it's just a free way to help support this channel. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That way other people can find it on the YouTubes. And if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to join us. It's another free way to help the channel to grow. Oh my God. And it allows me to keep making these videos for you. And with that, I gotta go take care of these kids. So I'll see you next time.